Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. It is Sabbath today. Um, right now it's uh, rainy, drizzly a little bit. Um, so I'm sitting in my garden shed instead of out in my garden, which is what I wanted to do. Um, but I wanted to share a devotional thought with you today. I'm going to share with you uh, kind of how the devotional thought came to play. Um, we learn a lot of lessons here on the farm um, that give us spiritual applications and things to really understand uh, God and um, our relationship or lack of and um, just wanted to kind of touch base on what's going on. So I have these um, and there's quite a few more of them laying around. Uh, they're from one of our chickens, uh, Lucille. Um, we have a dog. We have two dogs. We have a cattle dog. And uh, her breed is designed to chase cattle. We don't raise cattle here. We raise chickens. So we've hit, uh, honed in on her instinct of herding cattle to round up our chickens. And it... it goes well for the most part but there's sometimes that her cattle instinct kicks in and she's more aggressive when the, with the chickens than uh, she should be because uh, chickens are not built like cattle and uh, she can easily kill them um, not meaning to and that's what happened today um, we're rounding the chickens up to get them back in the run before the downpour and uh, she got one of our chickens um, uh, cornered and she got overexcited and she actually was attacking our chicken. And uh, if we had not intervened, um, the chicken would have easily been killed. Um, that was very devastating to watch, very fearful to watch. Not that I was watching, but uh, you know, intervening and got her away from the chicken and uh, the chicken's okay, unless the chicken dies of a heart attack from stress, which could easily happen. Um, so I'm watching her closely, but right now she's outside um, doing her normal. But anyways, um, that fear of um, losing our chicken it really was intense. And it kind of ties in with the fear that's going around of losing loved ones to the COVID-19 virus. Um, the fear is in the air. You can feel it when you go places. Not that I recommend you go places, but if you have to go for an emergency shop run or you talk with people uh, through texting or FaceTime or even on the phone, you can tell that there's a lot of fear going on. Um, fear of the unknown, fear of uh, people dying because this virus attacks the lungs and basically kills the lungs. And that's what's so horrible about this particular disease is it's uh, more than just the flu um, as it actually um, causes major damage to the lungs. Uh, damage that even those who recover still struggle with and will struggle with the rest of their lives. Very scarred lung tissue. Um, but anyway, so there's that fear going around. And so I just wanted to kind of address it today. Um, I got this idea from the uh, Vespers program that the uh, Wisconsin Adventist Academy had. And I really, really, really um, enjoyed it. So I figured I'd kind of share it with you guys um, as well. Because when you gain a blessing, you want to make sure to pass that blessing on. So I'm just going to share with you a few pieces of scripture that kind of help with um, this fear problem that we have. Um, whoops, I'm going to lose my paper here. First thing that I want to uh, emphasize is fear does not come from God. Um, there's a difference between being fearful and being cautious. Um, so I want to make that a clarification. There's a difference between being fearful and being cautious. But the scriptures say, 
Uh, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And that's 2 Timothy 1 7. Now, if you're going around the stores or you even hear move, uh, the news um, and things like that, um, people are not using love. They're not being of a sound mind. They're acting irrationally because they're acting out of fear. This is a flu, a respiratory infection. But one of the first things that fearful people did was go out to the stores and buy out all the toilet paper. Does that sound like a reasonable and sound mind to you? This is a respiratory infection, not gastrointestinal, where you have diarrhea or something. Um, so that plays in heavily. Um, so yes, he did not give us the spirit of fear. So we have to realize that if we're afraid, this kind of fear that leads to uh, not making good quality choices, um, that we need to get our rethinking done and uh, pray to God to relieve us of that type of fear um, because it's not coming from Him. He wants us to be cautious and to use our brains to make good choices and not be fearful. Uh, the second scripture, the piece I wanted to share with you, was really, really beautiful as well. Um, it comes from uh, Philippians 4, verses uh, 6 and 7. And it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And I find that that uh, promise there is very, very um, precious as well. And there's a, another uh, scripture verse, and I did not write it down, but um, it's uh, Jesus is talking, and he's talking about the peace that he leaves with us. It's not the world's peace but his peace that he leaves with us and that sort of peace is what we want to uh, hang on to right now what we need to rely on right now what we need to focus on right now because right now the world wants us to focus on the fear that this coronavirus is causing the world wants us to panic because this virus kills people um, that's not what Jesus wants. Jesus wants you to live. And even if you were to get sick with this virus and unfortunately pass away, he still wants you to live spiritually. So I'm going to read one last passage, which is a very important passage. And I won't read the whole thing, but uh, I'll share some key parts of it. So this is from Psalm 91. And we're encouraged to uh, memorize this this particular psalm and Psalm 46, I believe, um, to get us through times like this. And I'll read it to you and you'll understand why. And again, I'll just uh, read a few uh, verses of it. I won't read the whole thing. Or maybe I will read the whole thing. It's actually not that long. All right. Psalm 91. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall be under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. 
Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy inheritance. There shall be no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy door. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. Thou, they shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon, thou shalt trample under your feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. For long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. So the Lord has given us hope and encouragement that if we trust in him and know that he is our strength and our refuge and our rock and that he will deliver us, maybe not in this life but in the next, then we don't have any reason to fear. And so I just want to give you that peace today where it's very hardly found right now and not the peace of the world but the peace of Jesus Christ. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay sane, my friends, and stay your trust on the Lord Jesus Christ. May you be blessed by following him. This I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Take care, folks. Love you guys. Bye.